Zach, what can you tell us about? I think this is chapter 14. Yes, it is. And today we are celebrating Tanabata. Hooray, Ooh. as only Hatiful can. You're celebrating it in my parents' oh, we're backyard? We're still in 8-bit mode. <laughs> Hello, I'm... Wait, wait, hang on a second. <laughs> right, let's try that again, shall we? Yay! Much better. Oh, okay, no, there aren't any giraffes in my yet. <laughs> Not that you know of, they could be hiding in the trees. There are camouflaged roadrunners. <laughs> Hello, I'm Teo Calante. I'm the- I'm a very normal high school girl who lives in the wilderness. Doesn't in my everyone? defense, the manga had elephants there rather than giraffes. <laughs> Saint Pigeonation Academy is all the way out in the city, so it's a little hard to commute there on foot. Yeah, it's two hours on foot, five hours with the zombie. <laughs> on top of that, my house doesn't have any of the typical birdie home amenities, like central heating or walls. <laughs> <laughs> it's utter hell during winters and typhoon season. But it's my home and I'm proud of it. I had to beat up a boss jackal just to get it, so. <laughs> and with your house being so far from the lights of the city, you can see the stars really well from here too. Look at that one really bright one. Let's all go there. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Hey, everybody! This year we get to decorate bamboo here at the school! <coughs> really? Yay! <laughs> it's a happy day! Bamboo? Is that a ninja? <laughs> Kawara, why exactly are we decorating bamboo? Is this some sort of Japanese festival I'm not aware of? What, didn't your mom tell you about it? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Sakuya. It's called Tanabata. It's a summer festival celebrated on July 7th where you write down your wish and hang it on bamboo. Yeah, a high school girl might write something like, I want to become the supreme ruler of the world. Very well, in that case, I wish for a world without poor people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? What kind of festival is this? Uh, that's just Teo being Teo, Sakuya. If you want, Sakuya, I can explain how the Tanabata festival began for you. Very well. Begin, Kalante. Oh, this is going to be brilliant. Better than my mom will explain it, I'm sure. Once upon a time... Oh, a very sad background. <laughs> there was a girl named Orihime who worked hard as a cloth weaver. I bet your pardon. <laughs> You've chosen the cast for this already? <laughs> and there was a boy named Kengyu who worked hard at raising cattle. Ooh. That's not raising them! That's just brawling! Raising them over his shoulder into a backdrop. Or whatever those moves are called. <laughs> well, a few things happened between them, and the two of them got married. That's the weirdest ship I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> However, because of this, they didn't do their jobs and caused a huge disaster. All because they got too lovey-dovey. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Worst pun ever. Was that in the translation, or was that yes. yours? 
The lovey <laughs> dovey part was in the translation, and I just had to express my disdain for it. It's a great costume there. <laughs> The God of Heaven grew angry upon seeing them and the trouble they had caused. Wait, why am I not playing Orihime? Because <laughs> you're the voter of pudding. <laughs> God drove Kengyu to the other side of the River of Heaven so that the two could return to their roles in society. Ow! I don't think Kengyu likes this idea, Tao! <laughs> However, God realized that tearing such a strong love apart was wrong, and so once a year on July 7th, the two of them are allowed to cross the river of heaven and reunite. Not the worst long distance relationship, I guess. And that's how the legend began. That made no sense whatsoever, Kalante! <laughs> it's not over from the casting! <laughs> are you absolutely sure your mother couldn't have done a better job? <laughs> Every year on July 7th, they would meet at a convention. <laughs> As for how Orihime and Kenyu cross the river of heaven once a year, well, it seems they borrow the power of birds. <laughs> the birds that came to help are known as magpies, and they are very adorable. <laughs> they look like Studio Ghibli minions. <laughs> Flag. Oh my god, they do. <laughs> They're related to crows, but their long tails and two-tone coloring, along with the scientific name Pika Pika, just makes them so cute. <laughs> Isn't and you? Not related to rodents. <laughs> <laughs> when the two lovers are allowed to reunite, the magpies build a bridge over the river of heaven, mm. and with it, Orihime and Kenku. Fall right through into the river of heaven. It was made by magpies. It's used. It's no made out of used bottle caps and bits bridge. of people's keys. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you guys using nest building materials for this? <laughs> it's not fair. There are so many animals in the sky. It is not fair that there isn't an Okosan constellation. Oh my god, going to change.gov and starting petition right now. <laughs> <laughs> True, there isn't an Okosan constellation, but a dove constellation actually exists. Is it shaped like soap? <laughs> Columba, <laughs> the dove constellation, can be found near the Winter Triangle just off Orion's shoulder. Meanwhile, Okosan is already on the other side of the room eating a book. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say something for the people who invented the constellations. They had a great imagination. This bit, right angle bit, yeah, it's a dove, whatever you like. <laughs> really? Then, if Okosan defeats it, can he become an Okosan constellation? Yes. I'm not sure it works that way. Hmm. I wonder why I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there goes the window. I can hear the overture to ruin! Color of the stars, now is the time for your power to become the key of radiance! Lend me your power so that... Please be quiet in the library. One after another, the spots of radiance are vanishing from the phosphorescent skies. Tell me, caller of the stars, what dark power is responsible for this? You mean besides the fact that it's daytime? <laughs> Here. <laughs> ah, the spots of radiance have returned! <laughs> Apparently he's not only a bit narcissistic, but nearsighted. <laughs> Ah, it looks like the decorations for around the school have been put up. I wonder what every birdie wished for. I want to become the supreme ruler who destroys everything with unstoppable power. 
there are certainly a lot of papers shining with individuality. <laughs> Darn tootin'. <laughs> Glory to the house of Lebel. And then there's totally predictable ones like this. I liked my first wish better. <laughs> Wait, this one? <laughs> I will defeat you once and for all, Isa Sama! What's he doing hanging around the high seat? <laughs> <laughs> this one was left by an outsider. He just goes around to every school (laughs) hanging his thing, just trying to improve his chances. Note how that wasn't actually a wish. It was just a declaration that he's totally going (laughs) to do it. Are you wishing for something romantic, Yuya? (laughs) That's right. I wonder if I should be part... uh, If I should ask to be part of something sexy and romantic... A wish. Hmm. Does the most censored thought bubble ever. (laughs) Yeah, I was going to say, do we need like a a pixel bar for this? (laughs) Okay, there we go. I wish that the stars of happiness rain down on all the ladies of the world. That sounds good. Yeah. Unacceptable! Oko used wing attack. It's super effective. Yuya's Tanabata wish fainted. Whoa! I had no idea you were that badly against it. Oko Sen does not ship Yuya that way. <laughs> Oko Sen is very particular about his ships. Yuya is a show off and a liar! Oko-san, use Fury Swipes. Calm down, calm down. Despite how I look, I'm definitely a sincere person when it comes to matters of the heart. What's wrong with wishing a little happiness for everyone? (laughs) Yuya should learn from Oko-san and make a manly wish! Like so, Oko-san's wish is that he will definitely become a god. Uh, oh, so, so that's what that said. <laughs> all right, so who else is objecting to the fact that Yuya didn't wish for stars of happiness to fall on all the boys of the world? <laughs> <laughs> oh, here come the tears. Oh. So, tell me, everybody. The River of Heaven. Do you know what it's made of? Oh no. I've forgotten who all these birds are. Yeah, who's who? <laughs> uh, Budgie is Hop. She's the one with the hat. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, Momo's the one with the hat, but uh, Hop's the uh, penguin. Yeah, I was oh, okay, going to say sorry. Budgie's both of them anyway, so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Eh, sh- sugar? It's probably pretty lumpy. Definitely milk, I think. Mm, g- galactic mackerel? That's totally the name of my new band. <laughs> You're all wrong. It's my coop. Now there's right, a scientist. <laughs> Ew, that's gross, Kanta. Uh, I see, and pigeon's poop is white, huh? Makes sense. <laughs> Calcon kind of just goes along with it. <laughs> you're, you're, you're all very special children. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey now, don't make Hop cry like that. What did I do? Well, I hope you're all enjoying this. If you are, be sure to swing my Moe's new Zazzle store and pick up some merchandise. I got some awesome buttons to go with my carrier bag, or tote bag, whatever it is. <laughs> Just hop over to this URL right here. I'm not even going to try spelling that out. 
Zazzle.com slash Haddoking. Thank you, Raven. <laughs> that was easier than Luke. And, and pick something up for yourself or that special sunburn in your life. But the important question is the thong still there? Uh, it the isn't. Is, oh, only one way to find that. Not on, well, see, both stores still exist. The thong is not yeah. on the Zazzle store, but you can still get it from the cafe press. Yes. Well, see you next time, everybody.